Tonight on the premiere of Last Chance Kitchen, the first two eliminated chefs will compete. Oh my gosh! Ugh. Can Gerald learn to manage his time better? I'm trying not to be a panic frenzy like I was last time. Or will Annie settle her nerves and pull out a win? I've got things I need to do. This is Last Chance Kitchen. I feel like I definitely have something to prove being the first person eliminated. I want to make the people who cook for me and my family and my kids and my friends proud of what I've accomplished and what I can actually do. This is your opportunity to get yourself back into the competition. Only one chef will make it to the end. You'll have a guaranteed spot in the Top Chef Finals in Mexico. I'm definitely nervous because I always get nervous. The hard part is for me to overcome my own fear. If I can overcome that, there's plenty of people I could beat. So you two are the first to go because you weren't able to manage the most fundamental part of Top Chef, the clock. Gerald, in the first quick fire, you had an hour to cook the chicken dish and you barely made it to the plate. Cook for me. I was trying to make uh, two dishes, but uh, the two dishes morphed into one, so I did smoked buttermilk poached chicken and made a chicken jus. Looks easier on television. It sure does. <laughs> That's right. Annie, you tried to make a tomato tart from scratch in like two and a half hours, and you didn't have enough time to pull off the crust. I need a hot oven for my tarts, and there's a, it's full. Annie, I mean, the tart actually has pretty good flavor, but it's just the dough's raw. You can't compete here without time management. This challenge is designed to see who can manage the time the best. <laughs> Each section of the pantry is labeled with a different amount of time. Spices, for example, are worth one minute. Salt and pepper are worth nothing. For every ingredient you choose, you're not only building a dish, but you're building your cook time. So you have to be able to balance the ingredients that you choose with the amount of cook time you're trying to achieve. Make sense? I think so. You'll have a two minute time period to shop for the ingredients. You must choose every ingredient you grab. So be quick, but be careful. And that will determine how long you're going to cook. Your two minute shopping period starts now. I immediately gravitate towards the lamb. Ah! And then just kind of dart around to see what other things I can use to really bring out the flavor. Maybe. I'm taking my time so that I don't just frantically run around and grab a bunch of ingredients that I don't need because I have to use them all on a dish. 10 seconds. 10, Ten seconds, 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 chef. Oh, this is tough. OK, chef, time's up. Oh, I ain't getting any acid. What do you have here? <laughs> I've got lamb. You got some lamb. Some Romanesco. Romanesco, OK. Uh, some herbs All and right. cheddar. <laughs> some cheddar, just in case, in case you're hungry and you want a snack. <laughs> yeah. I, ketchup, too. Yeah, a little ketchup. <laughs> All right. I know it's going to be amazing. You'll just have to wait and see. So Gerald, what do we have? We're going for a little seafood here. We have yes, some mussels, some fennel, some celery, a little pancetta, it looks like. Some tarragon. Turner, some tarragon. OK. OK, so Gerald, you have 33 minutes. Andy, you have 25 minutes, based on the ingredients you chose. So we're going to start Gerald, and then eight minutes later, we'll count you in. All right. Ready? Your time starts now. What's the cheese for, Andy? Uh, <laughs> I'll figure a way out for it. <laughs> I realized I didn't grab acid when the two-minute mark went off, and I know I'm going to need some acid to bring out the marriage of all of these flavors. How you feeling over there, Annie? I'm trying to hold it together for the next four minutes. <laughs> I'm trying not to be a panic frenzy like I was last time I was in this kitchen. You ready, Annie? You got a plan? I've got a plan. Nice. Yes, I do. I still don't think I got a plan. <laughs> 30 seconds, Annie. I'm anxious. I want to start. Five, four, three, two. Your time starts now. I don't cook with ketchup that much, so I'm not too worried about what she's making. I feel like nice knife work just kind of goes out the window. I want to make a tartare, and I know I can do that in the amount of time that I have. 25 minutes is plenty of time. How you feel about second chances, uh, Annie? <laughs> I'm really glad to get a second chance, and it's nice to be back in the kitchen. What's the time, Annie? Uh, 17.34. Ooh. Shaking like a leaf. So what are you making? 
shellfish chowder. Do you have cream? No, sir. So what are you using for the liquid? Uh, yeah. I didn't get any liquid. You, you didn't get any liquid. <laughs> so how are you making a chowder? Then it's uh, it's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be a chowder okay. without without cream. Uh, improvised, improvised chowder. Improvised chowder. All right. You have enough time to get this done? You yes, have 14 chef. minutes left. All right. Hey. Hey, how's it going, chef? Whoa! What did you, you ground up the lamb? Yeah. So I'm doing a lamb tartare. Lamb with, tartare. With romanesco herbs and cheddar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take a shot here just in, and assume that you've never done this before. Actually, it's a thing in Texas where they put uh, cheddar cheese in there in raw beef, but not with lamb. So going out on a limb, on a lamb. Going out on a <laughs> lamb. And what are you doing? Like with coming the in on a lamb. I'm gonna grill that in a minute. And the uh, ketchup. Ketchup's going in the tartare. Going in the tartare, of course. Yep. Why not? Time is going so fast. Thirteen minutes left. Yeah, a little water. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Vegan stock. I bet you wish you grabbed some butter right around I now. I do uh, wish I grabbed some butter. I got some bacon fat, so. Yeah. Oh, fat. Hopefully that adds something to it. You want to grab ingredients, but you're not sure how much time you have with each ingredient. I mean, it's just kind of difficult. Gerald wants to make a chowder. The only problem is he has no milk, he has no cream, he has no butter. On Annie's side, she has lamb chops. And she pulled together a weird bunch of ingredients. I'm not sure why she grabbed ketchup, but she grabbed ketchup. She also grabbed cheddar cheese, and she just did it to herself. Ten minutes. Ten minutes, hurt. Ooh. Whoa. Ketchup came out fast. In my restaurant, I season steak tartare with a little bit of ketchup. It's actually, or it was the secret ingredient, but now for all of you watching, you get to know my secret. It adds like a little bit of tanginess and a little bit of sweetness that you just can't really get with one ingredient as well as you can get with ketchup. Okay, chefs, you have about three minutes left. Three minutes. Remember, you have to use every ingredient that you chose, right? Yes, chef. Oh, I've used everything but lime. So lime, let's do a little lime on there. Gerald, you got, you're all ready to go? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so you just a little steam dish, huh? Yes, yeah, sure. Cooking in a lot of ways really helped me to become an adult. I learned how to tie a tie in kitchens. I learned how to have integrity because I worked in kitchens. I feel very fortunate to be a chef because I don't know if anybody in my family has ever had a job that they cared as deeply about as I do about cooking. Two minutes left. Woo -wee. What am I missing? My biggest fear is not getting food on the plate. Cooking on Top Chef is an out-of-body experience. I just kind of like feel like I'm hovering above myself, like, what's going on? Oh my god, I'm shaking so hard. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, hurt. Right? Missing anything? Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Hey, Gerald. Hey, Chef. So what did you make? A little uh, shellfish uh, chowder, but chowder with turnip. And it's more of a seafood shellfish broth with uh, vegetables. Mm -hmm. You have a steakhouse, but you decided to go with fish, huh? Yeah, the concept of the restaurant is two zodiac signs put together, one meaning fire and water. Uh -huh. So we like to use land and the sea. And you did the surf and turf here kind of, right? Yeah, I did the pancetta because it added some depth. And because I didn't bring any butter, uh, <laughs> you, you could get some fat as well. The mussels and the, and, the, and the clams are really nicely cooked. I like that you left the celery a little raw so it's crunchy. Yeah. A little out of balance, a lot of, a lot of bacon in here. Yeah. Wish I had a squeeze of lemon. That's what I really wanted. Like, been nice. no acid. Did the fennel get in here? Yes, sir. Well, that's it's in the cook. That's cooked in. Yes, cooking. Yeah, got it. Thanks. Hi, chef. Hey, Annie, how you doing? All right. So what do you have? So I've got a uh, lamb tartare with Romanesco and harissa. OK. Um, so was it difficult? Just my nerves again. Just it's your it, nerves That's all again. that was difficult. Why? Do I make you nervous? Uh, you do, yes. So why did you choose to do a tartare? Just time? Um, I just love raw meat. You love raw meat? I do. I love tartars and crudos and sushi. It's okay. my favorite. Mm -hmm. Our dish is well seasoned. The lamb is really mild. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not too gamey yeah. at all. I and mean, you got organic ketchup. Oh, yeah. A quarter teaspoon in there just for like a little bit of tang without having to add too much zest. And the heat's coming from the cayenne. I've got cayenne and a harissa. Lemon is zest that's in the tartare. Yeah, and lime on top. Lime on top. Did you use the cheese? Uh, Nope, I totally spaced it out. Thanks. Thanks, Chef. Oh my gosh! Ugh! Damn it. What was the plan with the cheese? Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> so, 
some time management issues a little bit, maybe with the cheese? No, I had no? time to do it. I oh, totally yeah, time did. To do it. Okay. Yeah, I just. Okay. I thought both dishes were really nice. Um, you know, Gerald, the uh, clams, mussels, really nicely cooked. I liked the, the crispiness from the celery. Um, I thought there was way too much pancetta in there. I didn't get the fennel flavor at all. Um, and yeah, you're right, it could have used a, a hit of acid, but all in all, I mean, the cooking was really nice. Thank um, you. Annie, um, this was really surpri a surprising dish. When I saw the food in your basket, I was like, okay, <laughs> this is like someone put together a crazy mystery basket and <laughs> you were the, the butt of the joke there. But the food was really good. I thought the lamb was really well seasoned. You both made really good dishes, but unfortunately, one of you will be going home today. <sighs> Annie, unfortunately that cheese just didn't get on the plate. It's so crazy because you said remember to get everything and I, I literally, I swept my board with my eyes three times and I just, the cheese was on the cutting board and I just blended in. I know, and you were focused on the line. You kept saying I gotta get the line in there I and know. the cheese was right there. I know. So congratulations, Gerald. You are one step closer to making it back into the competition. There you go. Thank you. Annie. Thanks, Chef. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank <laughs> I just get in my own way sometimes. I think that there's no question I would have won that challenge if I put the cheese on there. So congratulations, Gerald, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thanks. I'm pretty happy with the first win that I have on Top Chef, but I don't want to win for someone making a fatal mistake like that. The more challenges I do, I feel more confident. So I'm looking forward to who's next. <laughs>